Last time on the Moretti Legacy. Her tongue just fell into this guy's mouth. Mauricio. Apparently he's married, but as the great American philosopher Selena Gomez once said, the heart wants what it wants. Sadly, Angelina hasn't had any luck with love, but I've been thinking about her just to be. Angelina has resorted to black magic. She's tampering and downsided stuff! And look at that, the man Angelina has had her eyes on for the longest time. It's Mauricio. The time has finally come for Angelina to secure a man's. God, why is he blonde? What the K-drama behavior? Someone give her the award for the second most dramatic, Moretti. <laughs> and just like that, Napoleon has bone from this earthly realm. Oh my god, his voice is hella deep. Felt that in my loin. Sylvia's in here just being an unproblematic widowed queen and mother to twins who, by the way, are aging up today. Time really flies when you only live for an average of 94 days. I think this is the oldest painting in the house from our founder. Yes, I'm so glad we kept this. It appreciated like four times over. Liliana Moretti, just beautiful. So, so good. So brilliant. So perfect. George Surratt could never. It's great to see the Gen 7s getting along. And it is prom night for the two teens in the household, Enzo and Lucia. At the main house, this garden is thriving. All thanks to our favorite little spinach wrap. Bruh. Where has Fiore been the last few episodes? I feel like we ain't seen him in years. Wait, <laughs> what is this message? Lucia is really charming Enzo. So Angelina is making fun of Sylvia's hydrophobia, which given that her husband literally just died from drowning, that is very low, even for her. Rosa, absent-minded, athletic aunt, a virtuoso. And now for the imposter, baby Gia. Easily impressed, loves the outdoors and perceptive. Still don't know who she is, um, but actually she does sort of look like Sylvia in the face now that I'm looking at her. <laughs> it's just the hair color threw me off. I swear the game is trying to make this the Lannisters, House of the Dragon, the Targaryens. We almost had the Red Wedding earlier. <laughs> it's just, uh, and this one, poor Kiara lost her uncle and her mans, but sadly it was just her uncle who died. I think she was hoping for the latter. Death to all of them. In the last episode, Kiara did a risky woohoo with Mauricio, who is of course now her relative because he's married to Angelina. And although she doesn't look it, she is pregnant. 
So in a weird way, that means this baby is like connecting two lines of our family tree. Because our second gen Donatella had triplets, right? So everyone in this house is descended from one of those triplets. Yara is on the Isabella line. And Angelina, of course, is from the Marcello line. It was like Valentina, Evangelina, Marcello or something like that. They're all family anyway, but through Mauricio, we're sort of like reconnecting those two lines, if you know what I'm saying. I'm nodding like I understand. So I did make the family tree on the Plum Tree app before, but some of you might know that website shut down. And then one day I was just casually looking at Reddit and someone was like, I made the Moretti family tree. It's on a different side. They did such a good job. And thank you so much to the person who did that. Love you profusely. I was shook. So will Kiara's baby be the prince or princess who was promised who will unite this family once more or divide them even further? I guess we will find out. But, but um, I want to take you over to the chapel. There is a plume of smoke still rising out of the Basilica de Santa Lucia, the family's church. I'm actually scared to look inside. Oh my God. The fire is still going. Why are you guys in here? Still absolute chaos and havoc happening over here. It's like t it's like a, a day or two later and this fire is still going. Will it ever stop burning? Maybe this is the curse Kiara has put upon this place. Anyway, Lucia is back from prom and I love how she has this wet dog moodlet. <laughs> I swear to God, if Mauricio, bruh. First of all, why the hell are you blonde in werewolf form? I don't understand it. And it's like a full moon, so we can't turn him back. We have expensive shit in this house. Sculptures, paintings. I swear to God if he destroys something. But um, <laughs> I guess Lucia has this mood lit because Mauricio was out here. There are better combinations than wet dog and steam. So she's in here with her brother. Obviously distraught. Their dad just died. Lucia was prom queen. Was Enzo prom king? He was. That's befitting. And... It happened. Uh, they're lovers. Lucia and Enzo said, Kiara's baby ain't the only thing that can unite this family. That's actually sick. Utterly sick. We have to break it off immediately. And by that, I mean in the morning when everyone wakes up. Hopefully I don't forget. <laughs> hey, do you guys think he's a power bot on him? So I didn't know what that meant until recently I sort of found out. Don't ask me how, but he sort of strikes me as one, you know? I think it's an energy you put off and it ain't a dark-sided energy. It's uh, it's ethereal. Oh damn, I was right. Mauricio really is old as fuck. I think he's turning into an elder. Wow, he did have a whole ass family, so this makes sense. Watching her son play the piano, she's like, I really am an amazing mother, aren't I? Somehow, some way, he actually is, so far, a good kid. And he finally has a father figure in his life. Still never met his real father, but Mauricio will do. Hi, right, not them dipping it and doing it. He's like, I knew I loved you from the moment I saw your bank account. And I knew I loved you, she said, the moment I saw you flirting with my relatives. God. And thank you to the Queen of Words for almost 20,000 simoleons in book royalties. The carpal tunnel must be severe on her because she's old as fuck, 86 years old, just like churning out the books left and right. Almost finished her 18th book, earned over a hundred grand. Damn. Sylvia is going to go purchase this huge property down here, Mucho Espresso Cafe, 257,000 simoleons. When you got half a million simoleons, that's nothing. So she's going to go expand the Moretti's business interests. Still dressed in black, still in mourning. Milo's out here teaching his sister how to drive. And of course, it's in a Rolls Royce. What else would you expect? The sauna has sort of become a refuge for really anyone who wants to get away from the chaos in the house. Fiore's out here. Yara, pregnant as can be. Will her child be a beast? Will it be a witch? And we have Lucia and her rubber ducky. <laughs> as neurotic as can be, just like her brother. This is like the unproblematic members of the family. 
I mean, Kiara's reaction to everything was sort of problematic, but she was clearly hurt, you know? She thought she was in love. It was her first love at that first kiss, and she feels betrayed. And I get it. I sure get it. One time I thought I was in love, and then I saw the person I loved talking to someone else who wasn't me, devastated. I went home and listened to You Oughta Know by Alanis Morissette on repeat for like five hours. What in the hell? So needless to say, I can empathize with Kiara. Are you okay, Kat? No! Yes, but- Azimai Bamon, CB Rabanaba, Kuba Nacho- Getting this awkwardness out of the way. Oh. I mean, I thought it was common sense. You do not fall in love with your cousin. Obviously, one of you's messed up. I don't know who it was. I'm not pointing fingers, but Enzo, we know who your mom is, so I'm sure she messed you up somehow. Hi, Gary. I feel like we haven't really acknowledged Camillo's existence the last few episodes. All his aunties have just been stealing the spotlight, but Camillo's off to deliver a painting to a man in town. Is this, uh, wait, this is Moises's house. Wait, maybe this whole time Moises was not into women. Not jammy, just jogging past, burnt to a crisp. <laughs> This is Mauricio's ex-wife, oh my god. She must have been at the church. Speaking of the church, it really was the great fire of week 45. One for the history books, what can I say? I think my suspicions were correct. Moises was one of the girls this whole time. Now I feel bad. Poor Angelina was too hard on him. There she is, giving girl boss in her pink scrubs. Moises, is there something you wanted to tell us? I'm gay. I'm homosexual. Who the hell is this? Letitia. Oh no, he's straight. Actually, I'm not. Oh. Mm. 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 This has me all kinds of messed up. And they were roommates. So much tea, so little time. I guess we're gonna go track down Milo's boyfriend, Ronnie, who we do know for a fact is one of the girls. It looks like he works at the discotheca. There he is. Gonna get some wings. He's eating them with the fork. Each day, God sends us another sign pointing toward Camillo's power bottomism. If you're a sister like me, you also can say oh. no. We got this opportunity to deliver 10 paintings to the business office. Oh my God. This opportunity can make you so much money. Like we did this one at the very beginning of this legacy and we have not had it since. The way he was shaking that must give a mad handy. Um, ah, ah, so big ah, 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 ah. A baby girl. I'm naming her Artemisia. Sick name. And she's grumpy and perceptive. So taking a look at the good old family tree, we got baby Artemisia, who is half-sister to Dion. Did I ever tell you guys Kiara and Dion were friends in high school? Let's just be honest, she she screwed her friend's dad. Yeah, oh. But also, I believe Mauricio is a social climber. Like, he schemed to get himself into this family because he not only targeted Kiara and Angelina, but if you remember, he also tried at it with Alessandra. He wanted to be a Moretti so bad. That I know. But anyway, but technically, Angelina is Artemisia's stepmom. Fascinating dynamics. And baby Artemisia is the 12th member of the Moretti household as well. Welcome home, Artemisia. I can't say this is going to be a safe space for you, but it will be entertaining. Bling, bling, bling. Bitches is mad. <laughs> At least baby Artemisia will never want for anything. Sama Nubia, Naki, Naki Funa. Jesus, is Angelina already insulting the baby? <laughs> She's literally an hour old, Angelina. So now that the baby's here, the wedding's out of the way, we definitely need to get out of here. I think it's time for a little vacation. <laughs> <laughs>